Hello and welcome to today's video. If you've been around a bit, then you know that I have recently taught an oil painting class at our local community college. If you are new, welcome. I taught a college class <laughs> in oils, even though I love watercolors the most. But my history is in oil painting, and so they had me teach a class, and it was so much fun. So this video is going to showcase what my students did, and the work they did is astounding. So let's get into the video. Before we do that, I thought you guys might want to see some of my oil painting works. And I don't have them all here. Some have sold, some were given away as gifts. Like all the really good ones, I don't have here. But this is like my work from the very beginning. I gathered it up for my class. So this is an unfinished one. Someday I should finish that. But I didn't take it too seriously. I started working on a canvas that had already gotten creased right there. You can see that. And so it was just a practice piece and it had some kind of painting in the background. But it was fun and I wanted to just play with that so I should probably finish that. That's my oldest son. He's now 25 I think. Oh my gosh. So I'm really sad that these aren't dated. Really sad. You can see how dirty this canvas is. This is super old. So I probably did this when I was 10 or 11 years old. I wish I had dated them. So people! Date your artwork. Someday you're going to want to know. Anyway, I did this one super quickly. Just wanted to paint. Didn't want to get serious about it. And that's what I did. Again, this one, I was 10 or 11 years old. No date. No date. This is how I started in oil painting. <laughs> Not the greatest, but still really fun. And I had a good time. And that's the important thing. You need to have a good time. Yet another one that is not dated. I was way young with this one as well. I really like that one actually. It's one of my young pieces that turned out great. I did this one, I think I was a freshman in high school. And this is my little icon for my name on YouTube. So you guys probably recognize that. And there's a lot that could be different in it. But you know, considering I was a freshman in high school, it's okay. I had just kind of got started in my oil painting life. Big abstract piece. I absolutely love it. I know it's a little hard for you guys to see. And I don't have my normal light set up because I accidentally broke one. But anyway, just kind of like a ghost ship. I love that one. I'm getting bigger pieces. This one, like I like the colors and stuff, but eh, the application, I don't know. It's okay. And 1992. <laughs> 1992. How old was I in 1992? 14. I was four. Well, I was probably 13 because my birthday is not till the end of December 1992. There you go. I like this one. I didn't even remember painting this one, but I signed it, so I must have. <laughs> no date. Oh yeah yeah. This is just an abstract that I did. It's really fun to do these when you just want to put color down and you don't want to get too serious about it. This one I was trying a method where you put the whole background color down and this is a beautiful dark, I don't know, whatever this color is. Thalo blue, I have no idea but it's gorgeous. I don't even remember it was so long ago. This one again, not dated. But anyway, you put the whole dark color background in. Did that make sense? Whatever, we're going with it. And then you just use white to go over it with your flowers and I have one that turned out gorgeous that has a dark green background, but my grandma has that one framed at her house, so we don't have that one to look at. So this was like my first try at that. I wish I could get you guys a picture of that one, but I'm not gonna be able to pull that off before this video comes out. This one, again, is just an abstract, and I absolutely love this one. Again, no date, but I wanted to throw color down on the canvas. You know, I'm actually probably gonna frame this one. And there is a painting in the background, it looks like, or at least a part of one that got started that I covered over. But I think I might frame this and put this up somewhere. It's a 16 by 20. It's a nice size for framing. Might be good. Oh, I missed a small one. This is an abstract as well. Whew. It also looks... I don't think it's over painting. I think it's just really dirty. These are old. Anyway, I did this one... I actually think I was 15 or 16 years old when I did this one. And this is the one where the teacher looked at it and she's like, you gotta get in the museum and gave me her card and everything and class ended and I never contacted her. So I never went into an art museum for that and similar types of paintings. So that's kind of a bummer, a missed opportunity. Ah, I have a love-hate relationship with this one. This color being yellow is wrong and I would like to change that to have more blue in it. Other than that, I think it's okay. 
These next two I painted when I was 16 years old, and this one was in a really nice frame, and it, I think it received a, an award, I can't remember, but I took it out of the frame because it has a scratch across it. I don't know if you'll even be able to see that, maybe right there at that angle. And then I would like to fix the porch railing. It's bumped down, and I don't know why I didn't fix that when I first painted it. Anyway, I was 16 years old. I love this one. I may try fixing it and redoing it both, like completely on a new canvas. I think that would be really fun. This one also got taken out of the frame. The frame got broken, but I won an award on this one when I was 16. This is what I call Abcat or Abstract Cat, and I did redo this one <laughs> in marker, kind of as a joke, <laughs> like that. But anyway, I would like to change some things on this too, like make these brush strokes more consistent. And I think that the award I won would have been higher because it was like a, a lower level award because of these brush strokes. That's my guess anyway, but I love this one. And it looked great. I had a green frame around it. It was really cool. All right, now we're getting into more recent work. Recent being 2006. And I would like to change the bottom of this and make, you can see the light spots in it but I'd like to make them a little lighter. Even though it's dusk, I think if we lightened up some of these parts that this painting would come together a little bit nicer. And this was a tutorial through a Bob Ross book my grandma and I followed. And so, let me see if I can, I can't zoom out anymore. I'm at the reach of my camera here. Anyway, we had a Bob Ross book from the library and we followed the instructions on it and did this painting, and she did it as well. Hers turned out similar, but different. <laughs> Imagine that, but it's really fun. This is also in Bob Ross style. I did this in 2006, and this was in 2013. I literally took my curl dishes out on the trampoline, took a picture of them, and then painted them. So I love it because it has these really harsh shadows and these reflections. I oh, just love how this one turned out. I don't know what the point of painting dishes really is, except I had a good time in black and white. <laughs> and then I took fruit out to the trampoline and took a picture of it. So again, I would have these harsh shadows and painted it in oils. And this is one I had a really hard time figuring out what to do for the background and so I did end up with this orange background and I didn't like it at first but I do like it now and I should probably hang this up in the kitchen or get rid of it like sell it or thrift store it or <laughs> I don't know so yeah I looked for the pictures of the work that was sold or given away and I can't find them so I have switched computers way too many times since then but here is some of my oil painting work at least a portion of it and hopefully you enjoyed that tour now let's get into what my students did because they were amazing just a quick refresher i did talk about this in one of my previous videos about the supplies i'm using with my oil painting class i'll link that video up there in case you missed that but these are the paints we're using cobra water mixable oil colors you can see this is from the class itself so this was a supplies provided class we had six people enrolled and this is all the paint that we used the entire six weeks so you can see that white was the most and that is why I also bought the large bottle of white which we have not actually gotten into yet as far as the supplies so far I really do like them the lids on these however are very tricky we had a heck of a time getting them back on and in fact we gave up completely on several like you can see it's just not working. Like this one won't even tighten. Ah, got that one straight. One of these though, we just completely gave up on getting straight, but it tightens in the crooked position. And so we just left it like that. I don't know which one of these it was. I'm thinking it was, there were two of them. I think the white and the other one, although the white looks on right now for some reason. Go figure. I didn't double check these after the students were done this last class and I can see all the lids are pretty much off. Oops. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I like them so far. They're good. They're all over my fingers. So, first class out, I did have them do just simple tomatoes, just so they could get kind of used to the supplies. And this is on super cheap canvas paper. It's horrible stuff. I have it. Hang on. 
this stuff here <laughs> just because it's super cheap and but you can see it's flimsy and thin and the oil in the paint comes through but it was kind of fun to get them just to practice with their brushes and stuff we did all kinds of uh, color mixing and all of that as well that very first class I had them do this rose now this is the rose that is on Pixabay and this was a canvas that came in smart art they didn't paint on the smart art canvas they painted on canvas paper not this crappy cheap stuff but on actual like canvas paper this stuff this is what it looks like okay so you can see we did some practice here another little tomato and this was the one I did to practice before class and this is the one I did during class so shiny <laughs> but there it is kind of at an angle because the glare it's just not going to be your friend today. So they did this, Rose, the first class. So I'll show that to you how they turned out. They didn't all finish them the first class, so they're in several of the clips, but they can do this first time around. It's so cool. And I think that gave them some confidence to keep going, which is so much fun. And this was actually their progress after the second class, because in the second class I had them paint the mugs and then they finished up their roses if they could. And one of the students never did finish her rose. She was a 14 year old student who got permission to take this college class. She just didn't have any interest in the rose, but she did all the other projects and did great. In the third class, I had them do some landscapes and finish up some of their previous work. So you can see the mugs are still out. Some new landscapes are showing up and we just have a lot of fun work here. It's so exciting. I was so proud of all my students every single class. Aren't they amazing? I think they're amazing. We did have some students who couldn't come to every single class, so that's why you're not seeing like six of everything every single time, but we did the best we could. And on this class, I had them pick those ever-famous paintings where it's like a rainy scene with all the street lights and bright lights and umbrellas. We had so much fun with this one. So this is in progress stuff here, and mine's the one in the middle. And then this is the last, no, second to last class, I had them do like abstract dogs, Dean Russo style and other abstract fun styles, and they are so amazing. And then we worked on finishing our rain scenes. And I'm so bummed that I didn't get a video after the last class because people perfected their dogs and they finished up all their other work and then they were supposed to bring in a drawing or a painting, no. They're supposed to bring in a photograph, that's the word I'm looking for, of something that they took that they might like to paint or something else even that maybe they didn't photograph themselves. But that was their assignment for the last class and I didn't get video of their last stuff and it was so awesome. <sighs> Bummer. I had every student, is that right? I think so. I think I had every student show up to the last class. We had a good time, it was a good send off, but no video of it. So what do you guys think? How'd the students do? If you think they're as amazing as I do, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you don't think they're amazing, but you're wrong. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, all right. So I know I told you in July I would have the Himimiya paints, that's watercolor, not oils, <laughs> on 16 different watercolor papers, but that project is a little intense. So I did not quite finish that for July. So I'll have to have that as an update for you guys in August. So look forward to that. Subscribe if you're new and you don't want to miss that. One paint, 16 different watercolor papers. What could be more fun? All right, I'm having fun with it. See you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Oh, we're still recording. Ah! Before we do that, I thought, hang on, stop wiggling. Okay, okay. <laughs>